I'm in the courtyard at uh, the Temple of Literature and I just want to bring you to these uh, these are not tombstones by the way but these are st stellas written by doctors uh, in the olden days during the pains of con conficuous. Uh, the thing is that they're not very clear so you're not able to have a look at them but they are all over here like how we have maybe PhD doctors today but in those days obviously we didn't have that kind of stuff and therefore at that time when these uh, these was written uh, you know in, in, in calligraphy on these stones uh, by these various uh, doctors and they are called the, the stele of doctors so they, in those days this is how they used to perhaps record the information uh, please do excuse the noise because there's a lot of tourists here so I'm just going to tell you about the stone a bit more. It's the construction of the stone stell in this third courtyard began in around 1484 under King La Ta Tong. So uh, basically uh, each stell is a work of art having been cra crafted by great scholars, craftsmen and calligraphers of the era. The first sentence of the text on on each of those on, on each of those texts, the large char character indicates the year of the examination. So obviously, it's kind of wiped out now. That's why I can't get to it. But uh, that's all I can show you in this tape. But this is we are talking about a thousand years ago, you know, and these monuments are still standing here in the Temple of Literature in Vietnam even till today. Uh, from Conficus times and uh, they, they, they are still uh, seats of learning uh, and what in, in the modern day world how, how education is carried out but this place is called this uh, you know the, the main center of learning and literature and I think all these uh, doctors who have you know written their work out and left it as a monument uh, in, in Vietnam now for us to see how uh, advanced uh, and how much education there must have been. Obviously they have fallen in a state of disrepair and uh, you know from the 1960 onwards uh, they've not been very well maintained uh, but yet I think the Vietnamese government is trying to get some funding and perhaps uh, you know uh, at least inscriptions but unfortunately just can't see them and anyway the barriers here so I can't even take the camera anywhere near it but it's a nice place to just come and uh, spend the afternoon in this temple of literature because uh, it's 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 where from where the seat of learning uh, you know in the olden days when there was no law and order and how people should live that kind of thing you know it's not like how we have it in parliaments today in Britain and you know places like that uh, it, it was very different in those days. Similarly, on the other side of this uh, pond as well, uh, you know, the same uh, stellars of doctors are on the other side as well. So that's how it was. Uh, I'm just going to take you through the walk as I leave this uh, temple of literature. And I just want to say that there is no benches here to sit down. So people can't really sit down here at all, uh, which is a shame because you could spend some more time here but that's not possible uh, as we go down from here you can see these trees are pretty old and uh, their roots are hanging uh, you know and uh, this basically is various sections this first bit is the garden uh, so I'm just leaving the temple of literature now and I thought I'll just show you how uh, it was in the olden days and how uh, it it used to perhaps function uh, so this was a place for learned people who would come in in conflict strange time and then they would perhaps exchange their ideas over here uh, and i think uh, this is in in those days uh, we're talking about thousand years ago uh, the monuments are still standing here uh, and i'm going to just turn the camera now so you can see how how this looks So I think that was a better view and on that note I'm just going to sign off.
Uh, we have some Vietnamese to, to, tourists coming here as well. And it's basically people are just coming to take out photographs and images. <laughs> that was it uh, and this is the way out actually it's also the way in to the temple of literature and as you can see there's a big large bell on the top uh, it's got inscriptions on the walls as well uh, in perhaps Chinese or Vietnamese language uh, and basically it tells the story of a different time zone uh, many many years ago so so on that note dear folks i hope you enjoyed uh, hearing that i'm sorry about the voice recordings breaking and things like that but it's a really very hot day here and uh, I've run out of battery charge as well to be honest and I'm just using a power bank as I'm recording this but anyways I hope you've enjoyed it uh, as much as I've enjoyed coming to this place uh, thank you very much for listening and uh, please do subscribe to my channel uh, and on that note bye bye folks bye bye